Welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Labor and the Coalition have struck compromise over legislation which will force the CFMEU into administration. One of the biggest changes would mean the scandal-played construction union wouldn't be able to make political donations while it's in administration. Shadow Workplace Minister Michalia Cash says the Coalition now wants the government to support the reappointment of the building regulator. So whilst, yes, we will secure passage of the administration bill, the government is on notice. You now have, Prime Minister, two bills in the House of Representatives that could be passed again immediately. While Workplace Minister Murray Watt says it is a great step forward. The time for corruption, criminality, violence and bikies in Australia's construction union and the industry is coming to an end. Medical experts are raising serious concerns about the effect of social media on children as young as seven. That's as latest data shows TikTok is dominating the screen time of 10 to 15 year olds, affecting brain development. While nearly 40% of children aged between seven and nine have an ex account. Pro Palestinian protesters have converged on Chicago a day before the Democratic National Convention gets underway. Some downtown buildings are already being boarded up in anticipation of last large demonstrations. Kamala Harris will be officially endorsed at the convention later this week after Joe Biden stood down from the presidential race. And scammers are increasingly using celebrities to help swindle victims out of money. ASIC has taken down more than 7,000 phishing and investment scam websites this year involving public figures endorsing online trading or cryptocurrency investments. Sport Entertainment are next. To sport and controversial Aussie tennis player Bernard Tomic has been kicked out of a venue in the Dominican Republic for heckling a rival. And the owners of champion racehorse Black Caviar have confirmed her final foal has died after she gave birth to the colt on Saturday. To entertainment news now and Dakota Johnson has been papped flashing her massive emerald engagement ring after shutting down breakup rumours with fiancé Chris Martin. It's after speculation began swirling that she and the Coldplay frontman had gone their separate ways. Now Doja Cat has been spotted packing on the PDA during a London date. The singer all but confirming her romance with Stranger Things star Joseph Quinn. And even more details are emerging about Matthew Perry's final days after police arrested five people in connection with the Friends star's drug death. It's been revealed the actor and his assistant spent a staggering $55,000 on ketamine vials in the month before he died of a deadly overdose. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.